Wagwan me YouTube family and welcome back to another video. So today we're making some carrot punch and we have here one pound of carrot and we're just washing the carrot to remove the dirt from the carrot and we're using the coarser part of the scotch bright if that's what you call it or the dishwashing pad. Yes. And we're using the coarser part to remove the dirt from the carrots. So you want to use the coarser part, not here guys, right here. Some person guys will go ahead and just scrape the carrot but guys I will say I will use the carrot so, so it better you just use this and rub it off you don't waste it that way right so for this recipe we have here a pound of carrot and we have supple gem. So as we go along, we're going to show you the ingredients that we're going to be adding to this carrot punch recipe. So first, we're going to start off by cutting the carrot. So when you cut the carrot, it is easier to be blend as well as when the carrots are cut into smaller pieces. When you boil the carrot, it is easier to penetrate the heat through the carrot and for it to become softer. So what we're going to be doing next, so we're going to get some cinnamon leaf. We'll put the cinnamon leaf into the boiling water and we're going to get that flavor into our pot so that that's about just to boil up right i don't know cinnamon leaf smell i don't know the flavor the way it gives you know, put it on a caramel porridge or whatever you add it to right so we're just make the cinnamon leaf go and boil up going to pour our carrots into the pan this is my way of making the carrot punch what some persons would do, they would um, blend the carrot, but so when you boil the carrot, you get more from it. So you ensure that the carrot is washed, it is very clean. What I'm doing here is boiling it with some cinnamon leaf to get that flavor into our carrot. So we're just extracting that flavor from the cinnamon leaves. So that's how I cover them up. And let it boil until it is soft we soon come back look at that guys look at that mm, that smell that just hit you guys it is coming on so you can now remove the leaves So once it boil up and you know you can just remove it from it you don't have to leave it in there to boil out because you already get that flavor from the cinnamon leaves already so you're just going to boil them until they are soft right so with the carrots from time to time you want to go and check on the carrots to ensure that they are soft so what you want to do is get a fork and you just uh, try to pierce through the carrot right if it pierces through easily, then it means that the carrot is now cooked. It is fork tender, right? Just like this. Guys, it is almost there. It could turn off, but we want it a little bit softer. So we're going to put it back in the pot and allow it to cook for an additional two to three minutes. So now that they are soft, we're going to turn the fire off. And then we're going to allow it to cool. So you want to leave the pot open and allow it to cool. Okay, 
Okay guys, so the carrot is now cool, right? So what we're about to do now is to put the carrots into the blender. Remember also that this water is a cinnamon is the cinnamon leaves flavored, so you can also pour this water into the blender. And with the punch, you don't want to add too much water because you don't want it too watery. Then you're going to go ahead and blend it. Already had these ingredients, so you don't want to make it too watery. You want to make it thick. So it is too thick. It is very thick now. So we're just going to open the window and pour some water in. So when you start off thick, you can always dilute it. But when you had too much water, you had too much water, it is best to start off thick and then you can add the water to dilute it or to make it a bit more thinner. Look at that guys, very thick. Wow, lovely. Very nice. Now it's not guys. And if you don't like it like this guys you can always go ahead and add more water to thin it out so if you don't like it like this you can always go ahead and add some more water to thin it out so you can add more water to it but I like it this way so you get all that vitamin from the carrot everything guys to add my supplement if you have ensure you can add ensure see guys this is the reason why you had it you make it thick because then you would add a lot of liquids to it right So it is getting thinner now so it's best to start off thick because it will get thinner nice and creamy look at that guys very thick all right so it still has that thick consistency and to sweeten we're going to add some condensed milk so we're gonna add some condensed milk to sweeten If you want to add sugar you can go ahead and add sugar or if you want to add honey you can go ahead and add honey you could always substitute for soya products right or gluten-free products so you want to add more condensed milk because because the condensed milk is sweet you want to add more so it can become sweet based on your liking so you're just going to add the condensed milk to taste look at that guys very thick consistency nice guys i know say you 
it can always taste. Why guys, this tastes very good. It tastes very good and it don't finish as yet. Very nice. It will want to taste like eggnog. And we don't finish add all these spices and them flavor here. We don't finish. So you want to continue to stir. Right? To get that flavor and that condensed milk incorporated into the mixture. Look at that guys. Very thick. Look at that body. Right? So it is best to boil the carrot and then you go ahead and blend. You get everything from it that way. Because when you blend the carrot, then you know that you have to throw away the carrot, the carrot fiber. Or we don't say the carrot trash, right? But when you boil the carrot, you're just going to blend everything, so you get everything from the carrot. And then you're going to give it its thick consistency, right? So next we're going to add some vanilla. We're going to add about a quarter teaspoon. Then you mix to incorporate it into the mixture. Also, I got had a little nutmeg. Right? And mix. Guys, don't this look like eggnog? Comment down below and tell me if it don't look like eggnog. guys guess what guess what you can miss out of any milk product that you're going to be making any milk product you can't leave out the salt so you can't leave out the salt so you just sprinkle just a tooks about a pinch and then you mix so when you had the salt now the salt is going to enhance the taste into your carrot punch right guys a nutritious stuff listener yeah. comment down below and tell me what carrot give you what vitamin carrot provides right comment down below and tell me what vitamin carrot is rich in look at that the consistency Guys, let me taste it and tell me what I want, you know. Guys, it is so smooth and nice. It tastes like eggnog. You want to ensure you had just the right amount. You don't want to overdo it, you know, because you don't want to kill the flavor. Guys, I'm ready for my cup right, right now. That one near bad all of the supplegen and so forth because i mean i had like about three quarter i had three quarter of the can of supplegen i didn't had all of the supplegen because there is still more supplegen in the can right so you don't want to have too much because remember that you're using the they are creamy stuff right and you don't want to kill the color of the carrot so you want to add it little by little and you don't want to overdo it so you just want to add just the right amount that i had it in this recipe right cube of ice and then we're going to serve and this is our carrot punch very thick and creamy i do hope you enjoy this video